Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Unity update tutorial on my game. It's been about a week since the last one, and today I'm going to be showing off the few new things I've added. So, um, a few things are just bug fixes, you know, the usual, like, you know, fixing the AI, well, not the AI, sorry, the uh, just the enemy in general, the pathfinding and animation switching, just making that all work better. Some hitbox changes and whatever, whatever. But we've got a few cool things to show. So first of all, as well as the small health potion, we've now got the medium and the large. And I'm probably only going to go for three different kinds of health potions. I don't think we need to start delving into other kinds. There will be other potions in the game for various things, but for health potions, you know, just whatever, small, medium, large. I've only got the icon made for the small one so far, so they're just blank, but they work. They heal for 70 and 150. You know, I can tweak values later, but uh, anyway, so that's that. Uh, the sword's just the same. Bow, we now actually have a bow, a simple bow, but it's a bow. <laughs> If we equip the bow, it, uh, there's no animations for it yet, so it kind of just sticks through the player's arm. The reason being, I'm waiting to actually make the player to then, you know, put the bow in the player's hand rather than bother doing that now. Um, so what happens is, it used to be just this square which kind of stretches. Now I've made it so the field of view thing happens, but it doesn't affect the arms or the weapon, so it's just kind of like the screen in the background. And then you can shoot. And when I last showed it off, the arrow had like, it was just a sphere with a trail that kind of like, went through the ground but now it's like a proper arrow that goes and it sticks in the floor so if i like spam shot because i haven't i haven't made arrow ammo yet that's just what's next we actually have arrows now that stick in the ground correctly for how they you know land in the ground there you go and as i said if i like hold it down you can go for like a really long shot for example and if i ran up there that arrow would be sticking in the ground i might be able to get there in time before it despawns you can see it now so there you go um and let's go kill an enemy with it. So, assuming that I don't miss, because I am not bad with an arrow, with a bow. I mean, I did just miss that first shot, but anyway. We killed him. And look now, as well as the gold and stuff on the floor, the arrows actually fall out of him and start rolling around after they've been in the enemy and they fall to the ground. Pick up our potion. Now, one other thing that I've worked on, which took me the most time over the last few days, was making stackable items. So now we actually have two health potions in that slot. And if I was to kill this burger man... Also, yeah, you can actually, like, shoot the things out the air, though it's... I should actually give them HP, because otherwise I can hit them with anything and they just go out... They, like, just dis despawn, but... Anyway, now I've got three off potions, and I've made small one stack up to 20. I've made, like, medium one stack up to 10 and large stack up to 5 or something like that. Um, if I use one, it goes down to two, you know, the proper stackable thing works. And if I go to the vendor now, I've made it so the vendor also um, has stackable items. That works. Um... And if I like try and sell an item here, I've got rid of the X button. I just basically, if I click on an item in my inventory when I'm in a vendor, instead of using the item, it sells it. So it sells it for 10 gold. Now I'm up to 36 and he's got an extra one. I can sell my other one. I can leave, do my own stuff, come back. He still has the four. They cost 20 gold off the vendor, so I can buy two back. So that all works. I've, it took me ages to get it all working fully, but now I've actually got the vendor system working. And then if uh, it reached the max stack and I try to make a new one, It'll in the code it'll basically check if the current stack has reached the max stack and if it has it then creates a new instance of the object in my inventory so that I can have separate stackable things that's quite helpful um, and yeah also as you see the arrows stick into the enemies as well and when they die they just fall to the floor I think it looks pretty cool um, I will make different arrows and stuff and maybe arrows that set stuff on fire and bows that shoot the arrows differently uh, obviously this is just like implementing the mechanic because I realized I had magic in the game. Then I was like, a lot of people said on my survey that I've made, which uh, I'm actually going to put the survey in this video description if you want to do it quickly for my uh, computer science project. Um, just, yeah, it's just a really quick survey. Um, people said that one thing they valued the most after story was melee combat, and I really hadn't done anything on melee combat. I'm going to still do more improvements. But I thought about ranged combat, and I still only had magic, so I thought, you know what, let's do bows, because bows are relevant in this. And I think I made a pretty decent bow mechanic that can still be improved upon but it works um, and it feels pretty fun to use as well I will be once I've made the first zone in the game which I currently am working in progress I'm not going to show it in here I'm going to wait till it's done uh, I'm going to release like a demo version of the game for people to play that will probably be within a few months time don't, don't get your hopes up for it being very very soon uh, I still have stuff to work on and I've got school and I've got holidays and doing stuff and whatever but as soon as it's ready I will let people play the demo um, but as you see, yeah, we've got six health potions, and I can just spam through them. Now, 
obviously this is an update video so the next thing to add well actually sorry i'm going to show you a new spell uh not new spell but new spell visual uh we now have void reach obviously it looks the same and i haven't added a trail but the whole point in it if you see is like a hand um a hand that's going outwards and then it you know these videos haven't been updated if uh, you haven't seen my videos before i need to do those eventually um this hand is basically going out and it's kind of like a deaf deaf hand you know it looks like it's coming to grab your soul so we basically made it so that the hand as you see there it's got this really cool looking like um i don't know the fingers are kind of being really creepy um what i need to do next is i need to make it so this spell and the guidance light spell i need to make it so that when they um collide with whatever they're going to collide with that it does it on a collider uh on collider enter rather than on trigger enter because as you'll see the problem is it gets it too late and the object kind of goes into the what well, didn't actually happen that time not as bad as usual um but i will be tweaking these spells but as you see now look so it's just like a hand that goes out of its fingers looking all you know weird and it's pretty cool um i will add purple cool trails to it and now that i've been looking into shader coding i can make some pretty cool shaders for the game i guess uh, maybe some stylized thing that would be pretty cool to do but anyway um yeah quick thing to end the video of what i'm going to do next so Next, I'm going to make it so that when I drag items out of my inventory, I can actually drop them. Uh, I can drag items on my hotbar around here to move spells around and whatever. I can also just click on them to remove spells. And if I click on an item, it puts it back in my inventory like this. Um, but currently, the inventory is kind of fixed in what it like. It just shoves to the start because it's like a, a list that goes, to, you know, these spaces are empty completely. I will make it so that you can put items wherever you want. And I could also possibly add an auto sort button like every game does to put all your items sorted um and i want to be able to drag an item out of my inventory and to like instantiate it in the world so it kind of drops to the ground so you can dump items out of your inventory if you want to leave them and whatever but yeah um and also to make it so that the bow uses arrows as ammunition and i'll have like a percent chance of arrows surviving so you can come and pick them up you get your ammo you get your arrows, arrows back and then i'll eventually have it so that you have different kinds of arrows and whichever you one you've got in your hot bar might like be the one that gets fired or whatever but apart from that yeah I, it's coming along really well and i'm making a lot of progress it feels pretty fun to use all this stuff i feel like i can make a really cool like arrow volley move with this like or like a bow that shoots like five or ten or twenty or whatever but anyway i hope you like the video uh if you watch my other videos or if you want to watch my other videos and you know feel free to go ahead i've got unity videos discord bot tutorial videos shader videos whatever um, obviously I would love it if you went and watched those videos and obviously look, do, uh, leaving a like and subscribe would mean a lot to me. Um, if this is your first time seeing this channel, then I have older videos showing the progress of this game. I'm kind of documenting progress over the months, but yeah, I think that's everything. So, you know, thanks for watching and goodbye.